Hi, I'm Will McTavish from Link Reporting and in this video I just want to share with you our latest enhancement which is Schedule and Send. Now Schedule and Send allows you to create a report within Link Reporting and schedule it to be sent to people's inboxes on a recurring basis. The idea behind this is to help you share these insights with people in your team. Now there are two documents I've put together which we're about to run through. One is the reports I'd recommend sending to our team on a recurring basis and the other one is the reports I'd recommend sending to the directors on a recurring basis. So at a high level, on a weekly basis we want to focus on productivity and on a monthly basis we want to focus on our write-offs. So if we can improve our productivity it means our team are focusing on the right activities and focusing on our write-offs allows us to ensure that we're delivering jobs within budget. So if we can do those two things the overall performance of our practice will rise. So what we're going to do is look at these two documents and then I'll take you through in link reporting how we can schedule and send reports. So let's jump in, we'll check it out together. So here is the first document that we have. One is scheduled reports for team and as you can see we've got a weekly report that we're going to send to our each team member and on a monthly basis we send another individual report. Now the difference is this one is looking at last week and the 11 previous periods. This one here is looking at the last month and the 11 previous periods. So the difference between these reports apart from the, the dates is what we show on the report. This one here is going to include information around write-offs whereas the weekly report is just looking at productivity. Now if we jump over to the scheduled reports for directors, we have a team performance report and you can click these links to see what the reports look like. Now, I've given you an example of what you'd see when the report gets sent through to your inbox. There is the uh, team performance report for the directors, again just really focusing on productivity. Now what's really cool, if we sort our reports in the UI before we schedule them, it's going to retain that sort when it gets sent through to your inbox. So as you can see here, I've sorted the report by productivity, so we're going to get a productivity in this list down here. Now coming down to the next part of this, we've got our five monthly reports. We've got our team performance, we've got a completed jobs report, and our whip movement report, and then these whip and the practice performance report. Now these first three reports all have an action associated with them. So what we're trying to do here is identify high write-offs or low productivity in this team performance report. And if we do spot this, it's a really good idea to have a conversation with that team member to see how we can support them. This completed jobs report has been extremely popular, so what we're doing here is we're reviewing the jobs that were completed in, a, in last month, and then we can address any high write-offs. So let's have a look at this one. So these are all the jobs that were completed last month, so you can see for Johnny Joseph here, he completed seven jobs last month, and I've sorted this report by average charge rate, so we can see these average charge rates at the top here are quite low, so we may want to have a chat to Johnny and say, hey, why are you writing off such high time on this job here for Hemorrhage Harry Limited, and perhaps we could look at increasing their fee or getting some support for Johnny so we can deliver that within budget. We also might spot some jobs like down here that have got extremely low average charge rates, like $25 and $28 an hour. This is not sustainable for us. We want to be reviewing these and having a chat to our job managers to see what we can do in future to avoid these really high write-offs. So that's the completed jobs report. So, so far we've looked at the team performance report on a monthly basis, then the completed jobs report on a monthly basis, and then our whip movement report is the next one. Here we're looking at investigating high stagnant whip balances, because a large stagnant whip balance is a risk to us of being written off, so we want to investigate these. We then have our whip performance report and our practice performance report. This is the one I like to finish up on. The key here is just looking at everything from our productivity through to our write-offs and our average hourly rate and making sure those are all trending in a positive direction. So these are the reports I'd recommend setting up on a scheduled basis, but again these are just recommendations and there may be some extras that you want to set up for yourself. Now let's jump into link reporting and see how we can schedule these. So if I jump in a team here and then down to team performance and then hit run, this will bring up the report for me. Great, and what I'm interested in here is my write-off. So if I sort the report by net write-ups, you can see I've got my highest write-offs at the top. If I expand the team, I can see Greg Hood here has the largest amount of write-offs at $8,000. Now that I've got this all set out, hit schedule, give the report a name, then put all the different directors in here. So after I type the email address, just hit enter, and then put all the other ones in there. Choose the start date, so if I choose this to send out on the 5th of each month and then choose frequency, monthly, that's going to send out on the 5th of each month. Now if I was to choose weekly here, you see that I've chosen a Saturday, so that's always going to send on a Saturday. So have a think whether you want a weekly or a monthly report and select the relevant date. If you choose weekly, it's going to look at the day that it's being sent. If you choose monthly, it's going to look at the day of the month that it's being sent. Choose your report format and then hit save and it's as easy as that. So I now know on the 5th of each month, I'm going to receive this team performance report. All of these items here will be expanded and it's going to be sorted by the net write-ups. 
So I hope that was useful. Now go ahead and schedule those reports out for your team. It shouldn't take too long to get everything scheduled and once it's done, they're in place forever. So if you do have any questions, do reach out because we can either help you out via email or book in a quick session via Zoom to run through any questions that you do have. So thanks for choosing Link Reporting and I look forward to speaking with you soon.